Uh, good morning, uh, dear uh, chairman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Dr. Wen uh, from Cardiovascular Center, Taichung Veterans General Hospital, Taiwan. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be invited to pre present this uh, our Asian population study in patients with uh, resistant hypertension. Uh, in the topic I will present uh, will be resistant hypertension patient characteristics and the risk of stroke. I don't have uh, uh, anything to declare. As we know, the hypertension is the most common cardiovascular risk factor. The subtype of uh, resistant hypertension associated with uh, higher cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. The universal definition of resistant hypertension are uncontrolled BP blood pressure despite patient adherence to three antihypertensive drugs, including a diuretic or more than four antihypertensive agents in treating patients with hypertension. The prevalence of uh, Western countries, uh, roughly 12 to 30 percent of patients with uh, hypertension. However, little is known about the prognosis of uh, resistant hypertension in Asian population. So the aim of our study uh, is to look for the prevalence and the prog prognostic factor of uh, resistant hypertension in uh, Asian resistant hypertension cohort. Our study population searched from Taiwan National Health Insurance Research Database. Total, we uh, look at one million subjects from 2000 to 2011. Age more than 45 years old, according to ICD-9 CM code 401 to 405 were enrolled. Patients were not eligible for enrollment, including patients complete with atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, heart failure, stroke, or with acute coronary syndrome. The primary endpoint is a major adverse cardiovascular event. Include all cause mortality, acute coronary syndrome, and stroke. Our results are total 111,000 patients were enrolled from the 1 million population database. 16,000, around 15%, meet the definition of uh, resistant hypertension. Their mean age were 63 years old. Around 12,000, that's 11% uh, patients experienced the major adverse cardiovascular event in the follow-up period, average more than seven years. Resistant hypertension had a higher risk of uh, major adverse cardiovascular event. The, uh, the just heart ratio is uh, 1.17. That means resistant hypertension has higher cardiovascular, uh, major adverse cardiac event, 70% higher. This figure shows uh, the just heart ratio for major advanced cardiovascular event. As we know, the resistant hypertension as 17% higher major adver cardiovascular adverse event that uh, reach the significant p-value. However, only stroke, especially ischemic stroke, reach the stati statistic significance that 34% uh, higher risk of ischemic stroke in patients with resistant hypertension. The other primary endpoints include all-cause mortality, acute coronary syndrome, 
hemorrhagic stroke or unclassified stroke did not reach the clinical significance. This figure shows the maize free uh, survival in patients with resistant hypertension uh, was 17% lower than patients with non-resistant hypertension. Our conclusion are patients with resistant hypertension were associated with higher risk, 70% higher risk of a major adverse cardiovascular event than those with non-resistant hypertension. The increasing risk is mainly contribute to the increasing stroke events, especially ischemic stroke, up to 34%. Female gender and old age predict the prognosis of resistant hypertension 35% higher and 20% higher, respectively. So, ladies and gentlemen, combining the diagnosis of resistant hypertension and the patient characteristic, especially gender, female gender, and uh, old age, more than 65 years so allows better risk stratification of patients with resistant hypertension. Thanks for your attention. Do you have any questions for the audience? Could you also state which country, which newspaper you uh, come this from? This Medicinska Gazeta, uh, Russia. Thank you. Well, I, uh, it's a very uh, nice question because uh, as we review the paper, some paper published in Korean and in Western country, uh, especially uh, in Korean study, they find the major risk factor for cerebral atherosclerosis is hypertension and dyslipidemia. Dyslipidemia. However, in male, the major risk factor to predict cerebral atherosclerosis is diabetes and dyslipidemia. So hypertension might be the unique risk factor in predict resistant hypertension uh, in predict the cerebral atherosclerosis in patient with resistant hypertension. Uh, our abstract has has been published in PROS1 in August 1st, 2004. Uh, if you want to, to, to see the order, the reference, you might check the PROS1, August 4th, 2004. No, I, my, my question was why in female uh, resistant hypertension is more frequent? What is the explanation? What is the... Yeah, uh, uh, there is no prospective randomized study I just explained, that's the observation study in Korea and in some Caucasian study. In Korean study, there is also an observation study. But do we have any idea why, why are women more sick than men in your country? Uh, are they behaving worse or what is the reason? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a retrospective study. We have some limitations. We Another don't know the the, the blood pressure control level mm -hmm. and what kind of uh, medication they use, three or four or five. So it's just a, a, a patient database from one million people from the National Health Insurance database. For me as a simple clinician, what is the take home message? People that already are in three drugs, we do our best to get them down in the blood pressure and still it doesn't help. Uh, you see, you, you show this. What, what, if, it, if it's a worse risk situation, what's the solution? What would you advise me as a clinician to do? Should I treat them even harder? Should I give up? Should I scare them? What should I do? I, I think uh, adequate BP control is most important. So, just, uh, very short question. About the definition of uh, um, resistant hypertension, how long you should try these three drugs to declare that the patient is resistant? Is there any timeline? Yeah. Uh, based on the definition, if uh, we uh, search for the database, if a patient use uh, uh, 
uh, three of uh, more than three antihypertensive drug from the in initial. Then we enrolled those, pa those patients for follow-up more than seven years. Yeah, but ho for how long? For one year, for six months, how long you should administer these drugs? So uh, we don't have this data. We uh, wrote in the limitation of our study. Yeah, good question. Maybe number 17 is a good measure, no? 17 prevalence, is the prevalence? 17 increased risk? 14.6%. Uh, uh, 14, 14. 14. Percent. So around 14, it's 17. A, and Similar two times, to the two times 17, that's 34 percent increase yeah. risk of stroke. So yeah, yeah. maybe that's a good measure, the yeah. good game measure for for your findings, right?